conference. Video distribution is available in the back of this room. Please silence your cell phones. No flash photography. We're joined by Indiana head coach Archie Miller. Coach, begin with an opening statement about the game. Um, well, uh, credit to Nebraska. I thought they really started the game ready to play, and we knew they would. Uh, they've been a, tip, tip, a really tough guard for us all season long with the way that they space the floor and shoot the three. And early on, I didn't think we were ready. And then as the half sort of closed, uh, we had a big run, which was a real key part of the game. Being able to go into halftime with the lead was important. And then we started the second half, um, I thought, really well as well to build a cushion. They made their runs during the half, got us a little bit stationary at times. But then I thought uh, overall our guys responded and were able to finish the game in a big way. And I'm proud of our depth. I thought we had a lot of guys. We were committed to playing a lot of guys tonight. And we had a lot of guys play valuable minutes and get some things done. So this closes, you know, the chapter of the first one, which is always the hardest. And now, uh, you know, the energy level and the adrenaline and feeling good about yourself playing in postseason, you know, is upon you. You get an opportunity to play against a really good Penn State team tomorrow. Um, I would say it would probably be a heck of an environment in here, but it, I think it's going to be more of a close scrimmage, it seems like. Uh, which is unfortunate, but uh, we'll be ready to go. Uh, like I said, and Penn State's had a heck of a season. They got a heck of a team, so we got a good challenge. Front row. I think Armand Franklin took around three charges tonight. I know before you've kind of talked about how he takes a lot of charges for the team, so I guess just how pleasing is it when he comes in the game is able to make those kind of plays? I'm proud of Armand. You know, here in the last three or four weeks, his role um, you know, really hasn't diminished in our eyes, but his minutes have gone down. And um, he stays with it. He's a great kid. He's an unbelievable teammate. And in some of our biggest wins, as you finish the regular season and you look back on your season and you figure out, you know, who can help you at this time of year when it means the most, it's the guys that care the most. And Armand really cares. And uh, lo and behold, tonight he got his number called, was able to play 25 good minutes. He was plus 32 in his minutes out there. So there was a direct result in how he played. But like you said, he drew three charges. He's done that all season long. He leads us in that uh, department. Um, he also made some shots for us, which was great, and had eight defensive rebounds. So proud of Armani, really stepped up. And uh, like everybody who got in, you know, I thought everybody contributed in a big way, and we needed it. And um, 23 assists and only 10 turnovers uh, with the ability to rebound the ball much better in the second half, especially Trace. He had 14 defensive rebounds. I think he had eight in the second half. So. Um, but we got the job done. That's what you asked for. And um, like I said, we're moving on. On the left all the way in the back. Archie, um, I don't know how much you know, but seasons are getting canceled or whatever all over the place. Do you, you sound like tomorrow's going to happen with Penn State. Do you just kind of hoping or do you know? And, and furthermore, what's it like to be you right now? And like we have no idea if we're going to watch you play again this year. Um, Greg, you know, I was told coming off of the floor, obviously, of the unfortunate circumstances with the NBA put on hold. Um, I told our team uh, that that happened and um, we'll brace ourselves for what happens next. I think it's obviously a very evolving situation and it's rapid, but it puts it into reality of the seriousness of it. And when world experts start to recommend things, you obviously better listen. Um, obviously you cross your fingers that the college basketball landscape can continue on even if it means that there aren't fans because you know you, you you grind it out and you get to this point of the season it's the most special time for our young guys it's the most special time for obviously the fans and to get here with this happening obviously is a little unfortunate so I think we're all crossing our fingers and we're hoping for the best which is allowing us to continue to play but like I said when experts speak up um, you better listen and I think the NBA just probably put the sporting world on hold. And, um, you know, we'll hope to hope for the best that, you know, clearly we're preparing to play tomorrow. And, um, you know, hopefully that, that continues on. But probably a lot like you guys. I mean, it's just uncharted territory and it's serious. And uh, we don't want to do anything to harm anybody. But um, got to listen to what they say and, you know, we'll go with it. On the right-hand side, third row. Archie, two questions related to tomorrow. One, not getting the fan support that you did tonight. Mm -hmm. I mean, what kind of, not disadvantage, but like, is it kind of neutralized then being here? Yeah, you know, I think one of the great things about being at Indiana is the fans. And um, 
whether we would be playing in Chicago or whether we'd be playing, I mean, obviously, you know, we come heavy when we come. And to be able to play in Indianapolis, um, you felt it tonight. I mean, we have unbelievable support in here. And each day that you'd be here, if you're fortunate enough to keep going, it would only grow. And the city of Indianapolis is by far and away the best place to host it. So, you know, it's going to be an unbelievable vibe for, uh, you know, our players, their families and whatnot. Uh, we've scrimmaged in here. We've had some closed door scrimmages in here um, the last few years. So, like I told those guys, we've already done it once. So, we'll play the game with no one in here and we'll let it rip. I think TV's still obviously going to cover it. So, everyone's going to find a, a nice patio or bar or wherever you do and you're going to cheer like crazy outside. But um, it is what it is. The other team's going to have the same circumstances with nobody in the arena. And, um, you know, I probably would say, yeah, we, we would love to have our people in here. Maybe they'll just let our people in here. And not let their people in here. I don't know, but yeah, it's unfortunate. Is it possible that you or other coaches would coach a little differently if everybody can hear what you're saying, whether it's uh, cursing or <laughs> barking out stuff to players? Like, how, how do you think that could be different? Yeah, I think so. I mean, when there's 20,000 people in there and you're able to, you know, able to scream and you know yell and do whatever you want to do, I will say it's going to be a lot easier though to get Trace's attention tomorrow. And that's probably an advantage for me because I think he'll be able to hear me and he'll be able to look me clearly and know that I'm talking to him. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I don't think we'll coach anything differently. I think you're going to coach your heart out as a coach. I think you're going to play um, your heart out as a player. Um, but not having any fans will, will dim the noise a little bit. And, you know, maybe you got to cover your mouth with a play, playbook or play card or something. I don't know. But, yeah. Second row on the aisle. Archie, just as far as the way tonight's game went, your thoughts on the way you guys closed the first half, opened the second half, and really just took control? The close of the first half was the most important because I thought the pressure of the game, obviously, coming in felt a little funny. You know, uh, Nebraska being shorthanded, um, the talk around our team needing to do this and that, you know, you can get tight in a game like that. Nebraska started off loose, and they were playing fast, and we weren't ready for that early. But I thought our guys did a good job of kind of hanging in there. And then right when we were able to get a few stops finally, we capitalized. Devontae was a big part of the end of the first half. To start the second half, Rob was a big part of the second half. He got going and made some really good plays. But to be able to extend the lead at the end and then the beginning, I think, showed that we were able to kind of put our foot down defensively and get some stops. They're a hard guard for us. Um, and then we were able to play through a run in the second half, which was good. They made it a little tighter with about eight to go. And then we were able to make a couple plays. I think that's the big thing this time of year for our team. Who can step up and make free throws? Who can step up and make a couple plays when you need a play, um, offensively or defensively? And tonight, what I was proud of was we have a lot of guys uh, in the game doing good things, not just one. Second row on the right. Coach, when you updated the team about what had transpired during your game in terms of the health scare, what did you see on their faces? What was the reaction you, you got? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's like telling them, a, you know, it's like telling a, a family, you know, a family member was sick or something happened to somebody. I mean, obviously our guys are pretty in tune with what's going on a little bit with the, uh, with the virus. But when you say, hey, fellas, you know, you're going to hear this, but the, the NBA season has just been canceled. I mean, you see a bunch of young guys looking at you like, yeah, we were, what we've been telling you is things kind of serious. Go wash your hands. You know, make, make sure you're doing what you're supposed to do right now. Um, but hopefully some things can get, you know, cleared up. We have the world's best, so you know, hopefully we can get this thing under control a little bit and get back to business, and hopefully the NBA obviously can get back into the arenas and, and start playing. But I think the big concern right now for us is the collegiate game. You know, I think we're probably all sitting here uh, teetering right now and worrying not only about the Big Ten tournament probably in the next 48 hours, but, you know, what happens after Sunday, you know. And uh, so I think that's, that's obviously um, it's probably a little bit nerve-wracking for a lot of people right now. We'll take two more questions on the left-hand side on the far aisle. Archie, since everybody's so concerned about this, is, is everybody healthy on your team? Um, Just health-wise? No, no, no colds or flus or sicknesses or anything? <laughs> I mean, people are concerned. Yeah, I mean, it's a good question. I, I think that, that we're okay. Um, in terms of that, obviously, we got unbelievable medical staff here with us. And uh, Tim, our trainer, is on it right now. Um, but all of our players, uh, you know, coming – coming into the game and coming to the tournament all doing really well. And I think right now you're monitoring every situation uh, with, you know, the best you can. But I think we're okay there. Last one in the back, far left. 
I'm sorry this is the last one, Archie, but you had three players' names up there, and now they're gone. What happened? Yeah. Um, I decided to basically just move those guys as fast as we possibly can to get cleaned up after the game um, and get to the hotel as fast as possible. Um, I think once you start getting the news that we got after the game, I think, you know, right now for our players, it's let's get showered up, let's get cleaned up, let's get out of here, let's get back to the hotel where we can, you know, keep our group kind of tight and, you know, move forward with tomorrow. Um, they're not going to have a whole lot of answers about what's going on anyway. So uh, nothing strategic there or anything other than the fact that, hey, let's get these guys moving on their way, and um, I'll take care, of the, take care of the press conference. All right. Thank you, Coach. Thank, thank you. you, media. Yep. See you. Information about game statistics and quotes will be available on Big10.org slash MBBT. That's Big10.org slash MBBT.